Second and nine, blitz from the corner come. Rashad is the best receiver in college football. They want to go deep to Bateman. He's out there, he's got it! Down the sideline, Bateman! He can do anything you ask him to do. The place is gone, nuclear touchdown! He's a worker. He's going to work uh, each and every day to get better. Now float it up to Bateman, what a crap! He was about 150 pounds when he got here. I have a magazine cover inside my office of him as a pretty skinny Rashad Bateman. And you can maybe see why people passed on him. Just because they might have been able to get a 195 pound version of him that was ready to play. But Rashad gained 25 pounds over the course of the year uh, to get ready for his freshman campaign. Going to the corner, Bateman, touchdown! Completes it to Bateman, and Bateman breaks free. Puts it in the air, and it is caught for the touchdown by the freshman Rashad Bateman. You always need to see somebody be able to make a play in a high pressure, high expectation environment, and he did that. Leaf flicker on the second play of the game, and it's complete with Rashad Bateman. Two years ago, he had a breakout game. Pass on first down. He was a deep, looking for a man. In stride, Rashad Bateman, 67 yards. He was going to get bigger. He was going to get stronger. We knew all that. But it was the ability to make the high pressure catch uh, in the high pressure situation. And he was able to do that to win us the Indiana game. And the rest is history. Morgan still got it. He'll lock it downfield. Bateman's got it. And they go for a strike quickly. It's kind of like that Gronk and Tom Brady connection. Uh, it's kind of like that, that's the confidence that me and Tanner have when we out on the field with each other. I know Tanner's going to deliver an elite ball. He always have and he always will. Morgan floating one for the front left pylon, climbing the ladder. When I throw it to a shot, it's just a lot of confidence that no matter where it's at, he's going to come down with it. What a catch! Rashad Bateman! Just give him a chance and let it rip. Your culture's really working when your best players are your hardest workers, and that's what Rashad represents. Green pass, far side. Bateman sneaks through. Rashad Bateman inside the five. I got a couple of friends. I got a cousin that played on Auburn. Growing up down south, you know, all you hear about is the SEC, SEC, SEC. So, you know, it was definitely good for us to go out there and, you know, come out with a dub. 31 24 in the Outback Bowl upset. Usually, you work from January 1st to grow this football team. You have training camp for a reason, you, to, to build bonds from 6 in the morning to 11 at night. That was removed from us this year. The Big Ten will not play this fall. There is the possibility of competing in the spring, but that depends on tons of things falling the proper way in the world of COVID-19, which we as Americans are all living through right now. I got diagnosed with COVID back in, I don't know the exact dates, but I think it was kind of like late June. Plus I have asthma. It was really tough on my body. Kind of scared me just because there was no answers. There was no direction to look. Even doctors wasn't sure what to do, anything like that. That's really the reason that uh, I opted out in the first place. Huge news coming out of the Big Ten this morning. There will be a return to football. The weekend of October 23rd and 24th will be the first set of games. When the Big Ten announced that there was the season, that's when all the answers came out. Before that, there was no protocols for COVID testing. Now we get tested every single day and here are the protocols. It's like everything was released on the same day. I finally had answers. He just said, listen, I opted out for these reasons. These reasons now are fixed and I'm coming back. I wanted to play ball with this team. I want to get this team everything that I have left in me. I owe them all that being around the people that, you know, I'm used to and that's like family to me now. It's a surreal moment, you know, I'm just happy and blessed to have them in my life, to be honest. Being from South Georgia, racism is a normal thing. George Floyd's death, it definitely had an impact on everyone that, like, I surround myself with and everybody that I know. 
this is something that's going to be known forever. It's something that might be in the history book one day, you know. Um, so I think that's kind of why it hit so hard because it happened right there in front of all of our eyes. It's not something you expect to happen in Minneapolis. And it goes to show that there's racism that happens all over the country, especially in places where you know, maybe you might not expect it to happen. One thing I'm so proud of our players are they've, they haven't been quiet through this. They've done things the right way. They've protested the right way. They've made their voices heard the right way. And the right way means by connecting people, not dividing people. And Rashad's a wonderful example of this. I never knew my why of why I played football. I always asked myself that as a kid. After George Floyd, you know, it kind of hit me why I played football. Um, I played football because no matter your color, race, or religion, or what you believe in, it's a group of young men that's going out there and fighting for the same goal. And also, I just feel like the society in this world, I just feel like I get to use my platform to spread that awareness everywhere. I will be wearing number zero this season to show that there's zero tolerance for racism because I feel like that's what the world should be like. He's using his number, sacrificing his own brand with 13 for the greater good uh, to create positive change. Because every time people are going to see you know, zero on the field, people are going to talk about why he's wearing zero. Broadcasters are going to say, change his number from 13 to zero because of this. And I think that's incredibly cool. We don't know if change is going to happen, but don't ever give up on it because if, if you give up on it, you're going to wish that you did try harder. Do whatever you can to make this world a better place.